<laughs> All right, I'm back again for my third and last uh, run of the day. So I'm joined with you're too slow J with <laughs> with JKL. Um, he he is uh, I guess a bit of an NES homebrew aficionado. He's so he's yeah. pretty knowledgeable about all these sort of homebrew hacks and original uh, NES games, so he's going to help you out commentary, because this game is, uh, it's pretty input heavy, um, yeah, but I'm only really hitting A, because you, in this game you can't jump, you can, you propel yourself using these streamers, kind of like in Bionic Commando, this is, so, game was sort of, uh, loot. Uh, reimagining of streamers from Action 52, and then the um, the storyline was kind of loosely based on Bionic Commando. There's sort of a, the the uh, final boss Master P looks pretty similar to the final boss in, in that game, and um, you're basic basically trying to uh, fight this army of clowns it's really strange i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah the enemies are strange in this game yeah. indeed. all right so i'm gonna do time attack and then it'll be uh and then we can go and so in three two one go so yeah so just as best guy explained you do not have a jump in this game you use your uh your uh, metal arm to swing around and uh, Every, every time you release the metal arm, you do get like a little bit of upward uh, momentum. So, you really want to be able to time the metal arm to go really quickly. It's about a six frame between you want to hit for like optimal movement. I don't think I'm gonna hit that. So, you, you, you kind of want to mash, but if, if uh, you are a good masher, you need to hold back slightly. And uh, and uh, and you can see this game even has an inbuilt uh, time attack timer. And right here, he went went through a door that doesn't exist, but it does exist on the next screen. We do not really know why you can do that, but it's a thing in this game. Yeah, it's kind of like a wrong warp almost. Yeah. So everything in this game is a one-hit KO. And like one of the first thing you want to do when you start speedrunning this game is just getting through it without losing a single life, which is really impressive. And and this game is like the original homebrew game of the NES. Like everyone knows about this game in the NES community. It's a like a really fast-paced game. So right here you can see he is starting to face off some clowns that are throwing pies. I, as we said, the enemies are weird in this game. So yeah, he gets into these uh, computer rooms that has to worry when you do not play the time attack mode. And those uh, things he picks up with the hologram are checkpoints. So if he dies, he will spawn back there. These are breaking blocks that break whenever you hook hook onto them. I think this is the only screen where you can actually kill an, an enemy in this game. Yeah, I think that's right. So right here he is falling and waiting for a visual cue to hold left. So you just perfectly fall into the door space right there. So this is probably the hardest room in the game. We call it the fire room, and usually, if you do not get it first try, it takes a few tries. And this guy is trying to go for a slightly quicker threat than normal here, and he got it. So you can also see that there are some money bags around, around the stages, and. Uh, uh, there is a category for 100% or all all money bags, and so far this has been a really good good run. We're coming up up to the 
final few runes here. Could I squeeze in a quick donation then? Yeah, you can take a donation. Perfect, because we got Joka with $100. And the message says, I was going to save my money for the shuffler race later, but that's probably not a good idea for me. So here you go, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's coming into the free fall room. He, you can do a safer strat. That's, that strat is actually really tight, a two frame window. And he just gotta wait for a few cycles and... Yeah. The screen is slightly cut off on the monitor here, so he didn't really know where to go there, but he did find a way. So, this is one of the triceriums in my opinion, but he nails it. It's a really dangerous and a long, uh, long back way to the checkpoint. And right here in the end, you gotta race this guy. Oh, uh, Master P, yeah. Yeah, Mas M Master P. And it's really not difficult to beat him, but uh, it's kind of the final boss of the game. And you can see a lot of clowns in panic mode because everything is exploding. Right here, he will start climbing really quick on the left side and try and do a yeah. do a flick on the right wall to get over the balls. And time is coming up on fade out right here. Yep, time. time. All right. Yeah. And uh, you can like usually when we speed run this game, we don't use a timer or anything. We just wait for the screen here, and you get like total depths, your time and everything. Yeah, I think the SRC board they probably just go right to the end, <laughs> to the last. Uh, uh, I, I guess screen that has all the stats. Yeah. But but thanks for ESA for having me, and thanks JKL for the commentary. Yeah, thanks for ha having me. Sure. And then I guess we're having, I guess, what is it, uh, Super C for, by TFX, run by TFX is next. Yeah. But again, thanks for having me. I'll probably be, I guess I'll be back for the, I, I'm not completely done. I'll be back for the uh, Mega Man 2 uh, relay, so. Yeah. Yeah. Take care, everyone. All right. Bye-bye.